Hey, what's up guys, it's Andrew, and today I'm going to be showing you how to theme your Windows PC using a skin pack. Now, a skin pack is a program that pretty much does all the heavy lifting for you as far as installing a theme, so you don't have to use any mods or change any system files. All you have to do is download a skin pack EXE from the skin pack website. The link to that can be found on the full guide over at Gadget Hacks. Um, in this case, I'm going to be using the Mac OS X L Capitan skin pack. But if you want to create your own, you go to the download section and then get the skin pack creator for either Windows 7, 8, 8.1, 10, or XP, depending on what type of PC you're using. If you go to the download page for a skin pack, you see a couple screenshots along with a YouTube video as well. All you have to do is click on the download link and download the skin pack archive. The archives are usually password protected, but on the download page, you'll also be able to find the password for it. Usually, it is just skinpacks.com. Now, after the download is finished, you can extract the skin pack. So, just extract it to your desktop, enter the password, and once it is finished extracting, you will need to run it as an administrator. Now the installer is running, it is going to run you through the installation process, so just hit next, accept the license agreement. Now it also comes with a few extras that you could download and install as well. If you don't want to install them, just keep, keep hitting skip until you actually get to the skin pack installer page. I'll show you what that looks like right now. Now here you're going to have the option to set up a restore point. I highly recommend you do that just in case anything goes wrong. It will let you revert back to your system without the theme so you don't have to worry about any kind of compatibility issues. You go ahead and restore your device through the restore point. Um, it will also tell you what other additional add-ons it's adding. In this case is going to be adding the rocket dock and sidebar along with the different switcher. So um, if you don't want to install one of those components, just go ahead and uncheck them. And once you have all of that set up, hit install and let the install process continue. The restore point does take some time to be created. So give it about five to 10 minutes before the installation is complete. Now once the install completes, the theme mode automatically applies. So you don't have to restart your computer. Just hit next after you see that completed message. And then that'll be it. Hit finish and it'll close up. And now you can see here that it did install a couple add-ons. First it installed Rocket Dock and then it also installed the Metro sidebar. So you can go ahead and go through the install process there and check out how to customize that. And you'll see here that it already mimics the OS X notification center. Again, you can see up top that you have your OS X style menu bar, icons, rocket dock. If you open up Finder, which is Windows Explorer, you see here that you have that uh, layout as well. Your computer is completely themed and in case you want to either change your theme or uninstall it, that can be done through the control panel. They have an uninstaller there. And before installing any new theme, you will need to uninstall your previous one just in case any compatibility issues do arise. All right, guys, that'll do it for this video. Be sure to check out the full guide over at Gadgetax for download links and complete install instructions. And like always, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a good one, guys.